guys, here we are from the trailer reaction. Today we're reacting to the trailer for the movie Leatherface. Yeah. The origin About story. About the dangers of, the of tanning massacre. beds. Oh. Okay. But yeah, this this uh, this could be interesting. Uh, so I have do you know anything about anything. this? No, I've, I don't, I've not seen anything about it. Um, <gasps> I you know I just enjoy movies. Remake. Oh, Steven Dorff. Oh, girl. He's on the he's on my top fifty. I, I, like got, I got a list of fifty people with Clancy Brown and Brad Dorff, where no one knows who the fuck they are <laughs> but us, and we love them when they're in movies. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's enough to make me uh, already want to see this. But let's so, check out the trailer, well, right? Th th there's been a lot of shit about Texas Chainsaw Mascara, and like okay. the, you know, right? There's been like that that other remake, and then the other fucking movie, and then there's sequels that no one saw back in the day, yes. right? It's a bunch of material. But this is the origins behind the lizard. The race origin around. story. Did you see the origin for um, Leprechaun? No. What the fuck? Uh, Leprechaun Origins. Is that new? Uh, like a year or two old now. Holy shit! And it took it in a totally different direction. Was it good? It was pretty decent. Holy for a, shit! A, it was a WWE picture, and what? I thought I had reservations because I was like, "That sounds oh, bad." No. But it was actually pretty decent. Uh, let's see if Leatherface can do the same. We should do a a Leprechaun retrospective. I'm down. Christina Applegate. Distributor cap. That wasn't Christina Applegate. I made that up. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same one. I'm sufficiently teased. It's the story of how Trunk <laughs> got to be uh, Leatherface. Uh, no, I'm super intrigued. It's a period piece, which is only logical, but somehow caught me off guard. <laughs> really? But yeah, I don't know. Obviously, this happened whenever it happened. I really like... Um, there's a scene in one of those movies um, where they uh, they got one of like the city folk. Was that even in one of these movies? You've <sighs> not given any words to describe anything. We're getting there. Uh, he, like, smashes his face in with, like, a bottle, and his two front teeth, like, break out or whatever, and all the red, the horrible rednecks are just, like, laughing or whatever the fuck. That might have been, like, a, a Rob Zombie movie or something. It's not ringing a bell, but, but I uh, believe it happened. Just these fucking things. Like, the, like, like, they show the childhood with, like, the family and just, like, the, like, horror. Like, how casual and, like, happy they are about such, like, horrible things. Yeah. That's always what, like, gets me. People that are all, like, moody and gothy and horrible is always boring and, like, dumb to me. But there's something so realistic about, like, um, just, like, you know, bad guys or, like, de you know, demented killers who kind of, like, play with it or whatever the fuck. Yeah. They're, like, they're really, like, enjoying it. And they're all like, go on, you go ahead now. And the person's just screaming and all that shit. And I'm just like, and then they, they just go like, ah, shut him up, you know, do whatever. Cut his tongue out or whatever. Like, fucking, like, oh. That, there's something that's, about uh, Hicks. Just like the <laughs> the like the horror hicks horror are the hicks. scariest fuckers out sure. there because like they treat everything like it's like 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 it's just an animal like it's just a game or yeah. they're just like slaughtering the animal or like make them squeal okay yeah I was about to say it doesn't have to be hicks but it, it's always hicks <laughs> so it, it's some, maybe it does they're particularly uh, they're like the the token like white boy hicks are the scariest you've ever the seen. Scariest like thing. way scarier. White people are horrifying. <laughs> white people are the most horrifying. They are the though. Thing. Sure. Like like other th like I feel like th that that particularly if you had to like <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> more people aren't just terrified of these people. Cause, like like I would never want to go to the Midwest for the exact oh, reason that I'm like there could be people like this out there. There could be I real don't people. Know. It's well, everything's based on truth. Even just like like in general, right? When they do like the FBI profiles or like the serial every killers serial killer is a white guy. Like everyone, well, not literally everyone, but so many everyone. that it makes literally no like the ones that aren't were just framed yeah, by other well, white ones. Like like if you hear about a serial killer like kidnapping and torturing and doing horrible like the worst things ever, it is completely logical to assume that they are white. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Everything back to, like, Nazi Germany. <laughs> like, everyone is white <laughs> doing, like, the worst things ever or something like that. Um, I mean, he's, like, like, wearing a skin like fucking... Like, medieval torture stuff. Yeah. Like, everyone was white. It's great. Oh, no. <laughs> That's hard. Um, speaking of white people, yeah, we get some good... Like, I don't know if this is actually going to be, like a, like, a good film, per se. Some of those scenes in, like, the middle of the trailer where it's just this, like, mess, it seems like it's a mess or something. And, like, the weird curly-haired fat guy who I guess is, is you, know, le you know, like Leatherface eventually wasn't really doing it for me, but um, but I still like this. <laughs> still want to see this, I guess. Uh, Brad Dorff's not... Uh, Brad Dorff. Uh, the, 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 the Christian... Christoph Bale, Steven? The Steven Dorff is not in, in the role that I expected. He's a cop that might be, like, What did you think he was going to be? He's one of the people in, like, hmm. the thing or whatever. Or, like, a dead guy, maybe. But he's a like corrupt law enforcement. Or a, or a dead guy. Yeah, he play a dead guy. You know when someone's in a, you know in the movie just just to die, 
Shows when, up. What, ma'am? What's going on? There's a scene where they throw a man in a wheelchair through a window, and that feels so real. Terrifying. Like, just imagine you're strapped into a chair, you can't control the way it pivots, and you're just flying towards the ground. That's horrifying. I would not and the idea that. that someone can pick a, 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 like a seated prone man in a wheelchair up and throw him through a window, also terrifying. Yeah, no, I think there'll be like some... Like a washing machine. Just there'll be some real gross uh, terrifying... Because like, sometimes it's like, well, you, you know, you have knives for fingers or whatever the fuck, and that, that's scary, I guess. Or, like, the hicks terrify me the most because like, it's, real. it's so real. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, there are just crazies with chainsaws. Yeah, they could just overpower you, tie you up, and cut you while you're alive. And just keep yeah. cutting no matter how much you scream and nothing you can do, whatever, stop it or whatever. Oh, it's horrifying. Yep, That's awesome. why. That's why these horror movies... Like I, I'm personally like the creature ones because mm. like those are fun. They're fun. They're not, <laughs> they're not real. Terrifying. Even when it's like a torturous, you know, like yeah. animal or whatever, it's not. It's not probably not real. This a guy could totally just do this. Yeah. And have I'm sure no, and in like, the Midwest where no one can hear you scream. Well, and and it's and like, like space. And you get those moments where like if you stab uh, like Jason, you're like, well, he's a fucking like necro monster or something like that, right? So obviously you know, it's not gonna stay. <laughs> you know, stop him. But this three hundred pound, six foot five, fucking redneck guy, you could probably stab him too, and he would just laugh at you, and then fucking. <laughs> there, there's keep, a comedian keep killing you. I forget who it is, but it's a fat guy, and he's like, "You call me fat? I say relatively stab proof." <laughs> Rel- <laughs> I got padding. And that's that's true. Well, not even just because he's fat; it's because he's like so like just so I, big. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to kill you, and you stab him somewhere, and he's just like breaks off the thing and laughs in your face and fucking starts I think just starts casually breaking your fingers and laughing because you can't do anything. Is it Batman oh, so the animated terrifying. series when they're when they're their first uh oh who are they encountering? It, there's there's some like big monstrous dude and he's like the kind of guy like that. You wonder if a bullet would even stop him. Yeah. Eh, terrifying. The answer is All no. right, guys. So that's uh we we obviously uh, think this looks decent. Uh, that's our thoughts on this movie trailer. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think, and uh, don't die in a fire. We'll see you next time.